let's do some diaphragmatic breathing. Oh, actually, we're not. No. That I became more conscious of. Breathing? Good. I'm like, not thinking about this in my head. Um, 5.11. Activating a 15 second moment response to a topic. Go for it. The doctors instead of McDonald's. Or I can give you some prompts. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you a topic. Okay. So tell me about. Oh, wait, I need to get the timer out. So I want you to tell me about where you grew up and think about diaphragmatic breathing, okay? Um, I grew up in Lake Ridge, which is kind of the upscale part of Wood Ridge, and um, we had a reservoir in the back. It's a reservoir. What's a reservoir? Reservoir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, I had a nightmare last night where I was in jail, but we figured out how to sneak out in boats on that reservoir and then come back before they noticed we were gone. So it's a pretty fun stem. And then it was a dream last night. Interesting. <laughs> it's a continuation okay. of a nightmare from the night before. <laughs> how did that feel? Um, Natural? <clears throat> it went so um, fast. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. Um, so tell me about what you did this past weekend. I'm really having trouble remembering the week. And, um, yeah, I, I went to um, oh, I went to Freddy's Friday, which is this bar in uh, Arlington. And met up with some friends and one enemy. It was awkward. <laughs> Didn't speak. Um, and then um, I don't remember what I did Saturday. Like, okay. it's okay. I, I normally have a better memory than this. I have a blend. <coughs> the days start to blend together. Yeah, the weekends are special. Um, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to watch cartoons and play board games and Facebook and do a lot of chores related to like my photography backlog, my music collection backlog. So I never clean the house. Procrastinate that. Yeah, I do thrifting. There's a pile of uninventory clothes. Um, what type of music do you listen to? I listen to punk and thrash metal and um, industrial but more like the heavier industrial with guitars and less of the techno side of industrial. I also listen to like some really weird stuff, like uh, music from cartoon shows and TV shows. So like I have all the Simpsons albums. It's like a third of my collection. <laughs> it's like stuff nobody wants to hear. And what's your all-time favorite movie? Uh, my all-time favorite movie is Brazil, uh, 1983, Terry Gilliam. Um, he did like Time Bandits, uh, Fisher King. Um, um, yeah, it's it's this kind of weird dystopian fantasy where there's like way too much bureaucracy. Like the elevator is broken, and they'll put a sign up saying it's broken within five seconds of it breaking, but they'll never fix it. It's just this weird kind of nightmarish comedy fantasy. Are we going for thirty seconds? Or 20? We are going for fifteen, oh, oh, but the next goal is thirty, and you're able to do it for thirty seconds. <laughs> Um, Brazil's great. What? Brazil's great. But it really? takes a couple of watches to get it. Okay. Um, one item you would like to have with you on a stranded island? On a stranded island, I mean, I don't know. Like, I feel like something like an iPad is really useful because it can contain so much survival knowledge and manuals and medical stuff, but I'm sure there's some physical object, like a knife that's probably better to have, like <laughs> salt, like, I don't know. What's your, let's do 30 seconds now. What's your favorite holiday? Um, my favorite holiday, it's kind of a tie between New Year's Eve and Halloween. Okay. Um, I mean, every day is Halloween, but Halloween's the one day where it's okay for everybody to do what they want, and um, 
New Year's Eve, I just loved parties and drinking all night and everybody actually not having left by midnight because we're old. Yeah. You know, that's, I like to still be partying when the sun comes up and I can only do that maybe three or four days a year. So. Okay. Um, that, oh, that's what I did Saturday. Is what? An after party, so I didn't go to the party until 2, uh, 2 a.m. and then I didn't get home. In until college, it's like a bar, we would call it. Oh, like after the bar. Um, are you comfortable? I feel like you're. Like, relax a little. Gosh, how it looked on the <laughs> oh. Do you want me to turn it a little? <laughs> like, is there a better angle? I, really do, like, I, I tend to. As long as you're comfortable. I do this a lot, or you know, if, I, if I relax, I do weird things like. Yeah, like no, not that. Off my bursitis. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do the last one. If you could meet anyone in history, who would it be? That's a really tough one. Um, because I feel like the most important people are the ones who are alive now, making a difference now. Okay, so anyone. With, with modern. And so, like, um, I, I really don't know because they've, they're not really part of history yet. Um, I'm never good at picking the one person to have a dinner party with. Or, I mean, you know, there's some cool people like Leonardo da Vinci. I don't know what we talk about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to some pitch. Just doing some pitch lights. Do you want to do that? Okay. Just go for it. Or you don't, just, you could just do. I actually got a lot of resonance improvement. That's good. Doing pitch collides. What's funny is I was about to delete this app the other day, the pitch one from the beginning. I was like, I'm bringing it today. What if I need it? And then we need it to my your iPad. That's my part. Yeah. Chai. Mm. That was all above 180. Like, like 180 was your low. You're doing awesome. Okay, and then let's do a few oral res. This is the M sound. Like, mm. Oh, I guess you don't have to do it like that. Um, no, I'm sorry, that was my bad. Just like teeny weeny feet. Yeah. <laughs> Like Pete's, Pete's main feet. Yes, I can give you that too. Feed, 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 feed teeny teens. Like, I'm trying Here. to remember the sentences. We're just holding out the word mean. Mean, mean, mean. Twice yeah. and then thrice. But um, slow down a little. Remember how we said like acknowledge the moment kind of a thing? Pete. Pete. Honestly, <laughs> greater energy, do they mean amplitude? Um, well, that's what energy is, but I think they're just okay. trying to like keep, it's almost like a volume-ish, like, mean. Seen. Seen. Feel. Okay, do you want to just practice with stimuli? Or do you want to keep doing this? Or okay. it's best. I think if I could direct myself, I'd be, I'd be better now already. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's find your problem. I think this is where we are. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to have you respond for 30 seconds. And you're going to focus on your breathing, your pitch, and your oral resonance, okay? It's easier for me to do all of them. What? It's actually yeah. easier yeah. for me to do them all at once. Um, <coughs> Alright, I'm not going to be able to time. Oh, actually, I have a timer on here. There's a clock in my room. So this isn't Windows, but I'm sure there's a clock in this, too. <laughs> maybe there's not. Um, Like, timer? Or I could just... Like, maybe there's a stopwatch. Your answers are changed. Oh, Google has it? That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you want to hold it, you can. Or, well, I kind of want to see it too. Yeah, that one.
<laughs> Just trying to make it brighter. Okay. So I'm gonna give you a problem, and I want you to tell me what you're gonna do. Again, think about what she's saying to her um, to just. Even though it's like your natural response is to do something creative, just because that's your personality. Sorry, not we're not just trying to get you. You don't need to make it super complicated, okay? Okay. I guess then I feel like I'm not gonna stretch out for enough time. Yeah, but just think, just you can ramble ish. You'll do. You you know. Okay. okay, so your computer breaks down. Oops. Oh, it's okay. I can add. Okay. <laughs> Um, so my computer breaks down. Um, at first, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. I actually have a, a code that it will give, and the code can tell you what's wrong with it. And um, if that doesn't work, then it's a matter of unplugging peripherals one at a time and figuring out what went wrong with it. I'm a computer person, so my computer answers are probably pretty complicated. Um, maybe try. Where do you normally hold it? Because we normally use an iPad. I just set it on um, a table. Is this really up? Lower. It's recording. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. You can put this on the Um, I, I would just put it here. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Um, so, responding to a problem again with 30 seconds. Uh, you slip and you fall. What are you going to do? Um, I'm going to lay on the ground and make a lot of howling noises for a while, and then I'm going to rub wherever it hurts for a while, and then I'm going to pull myself up and figure out if I was actually injured or not. <laughs> okay, so a few of those are definitely lower. What's the target pitch? 180. I don't think that this is that accurate, though. Cause when we use the, you were consistent. Yeah, she was at 180. Yeah, I would say average. But there were some lower drops, but typically it's But that's a, a typical better. flow of speaking. Yeah. There's going to be drops, so. Yeah, just my, some of my drops go out of my... You know, go way low out of range. I'll be like 180 to 240, but then I'll, my drops will go to like 160. Okay. Yeah, that's just more so. Um... Okay, what are you going to do when you're hungry? Um, I wandered by the food trucks on the way in here and looked for something cheap and got some coleslaw for a dollar. And I was surprised because most of the things there were like you know, 10 or 11 dollars. And I was like, I couldn't afford this. Uh, when, when I couldn't afford this when I was in college. So now that went to 199. I don't like this app though. When you, when you, did you see me trying to point you up? What did you do to? To worked. increase that pitch. I just mm -hmm. became more um, conscious that it was really just the knowledge of, of you saying that that okay. was enough for me to be like, oh, go up. Okay. Yeah. Because you were once you got that cue, you were good. But you were just a little low at the That's beginning. That's something that just shocks me every time I go down. <laughs> that would be a good invention. They have that for dog barks. They got it. Yeah. I should kickstarter this. <laughs> okay. Um, your internet goes out. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm going to open up the file on my computer of what to do when the internet goes out, which um, it has the number for Cox Cable and all the menu options. I have to choose to, uh, <coughs> to uh, get to a human being and report the problem. Of course, I have to give them my account number, which I usually need internet access to look up. Um, and it's like a 10-minute process to tell them that my internet is out. Um, they make me go through the same dance that never really uh, fixes the problem. I don't know what's happening. I might just not be. I might just be out of practice, you know. Like, I I don't think it's the app. I think you're just talking a little lower, and maybe try going back one page. I think the more I think about what I'm trying to say, but do you feel overwhelmed by me being here? No, I feel okay. overwhelmed by life. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's also true. You're having okay. a rough week. Okay. Um, just because you know, typically she's been like 200 as the average. That's oh. why. Um, it's why don't we go down also just to two sentences, maybe, because right now we were going for a minute. Um, <coughs> you feel, wait, what do you do if you burn your dinner? Um, I usually um, try to add more ingredients and more seasoning and just suffer through it so I, so I don't waste the ingredients. Yeah, I'm, I'm really wild, that's weird. Um, yeah, I mean, usually I just cook more food on top of it to dilute the burn taste out so I can not waste the ingredients. Uh. I, 
I noticed, though, you did go up, and I noticed before you went up, you took a really good breath, and you talked a little louder and brought it a little more forward. So I would say, let's try a volume glide. Okay. Um, and we can try ooh, so ooh. Mm -hmm. <coughs> again. Ooh. And now kind of hit it like a gas pedal, like ooh. Okay. <coughs> it's, yeah, it's hard. I'm, I'm, I'm so kind of <laughs> when you're in that, when you're doing those glides, and especially when I call it a gas pedal, but I don't know why, but you, when you're hitting that gas pedal, you're kind of going in and out of where that perfect sweet spot is. So for resonance or pitch? For resonance, the, your pitch was good too during it. Um, so really feel where that feels like right for you during it. So maybe try one more time and. Really try to be aware of where that's there are bumps in the road. Mm -hmm. Where the it's good and everything, and and then you can bring that into your the therapy tasks. So I would try one more, like one more gas pedal. <coughs> yeah, it definitely makes me feel congested when I do it. Um, Awesome. <laughs> Where do you feel it? I, I mean, I feel it three quarters to the front of my mouth. Okay. Because, I mean, there's times when it goes back, and that's just the normal from the pushing in and out. But then I hope you're feeling it forward, too, yeah, because I, I there's that do. sweet spot. I feel, I feel like I'm, I'm wondering, though, why your throat is why it's tickling there, though, Smoking because it's. Much, so <laughs> You can say it's, it's, it's at the front of your mouth, and you typically wouldn't. Um, something about, <clears throat> I think when my larynx raises and I do the higher pitched, that it goes up into the parts of my throat that are bothered, and they aren't used to being stimulated, and it makes it scratchy and feel like, I've always had a throat clearing problem, even in fifth grade I got kicked out of class for clearing my throat too much, so. Gosh. <clears throat> I have a large uvula, so okay. it's always Oh, uh, okay. Why don't you tell me about this? We'll just go back and see if that helps at all. Um, I guess I should go this way. Give me one sentence about how to make your bed. <laughs> I know you don't make it, yeah. but if you were to. I have no idea how to make a bed, but I know it involves sheets and blankets. <laughs> She knows this already about me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I um, just push him to the floor. <laughs> one sentence about love. Um, I think love is infinite. <clears throat> See, mine's not, my app's not even moving. Um, I'm just not loud enough. I'm not good at through the wall, as they were saying. Like, when I go to higher pitch, I have lower amplitude automatically. Um, I have to pause the music to talk to my wife, where in a male voice, I could just yell over it. So what's going to help with that is your breath support. Taking in a full breath and filling that air to get enough power to not only raise your pitch but also speak loud enough. Because I think when you raise your pitch and you're talking in that good volume, you're also bringing it forward and you're, everything's going to come together. Does that generally require more breath to do that than to do it the male way? I think it's just retraining everything. So I'm not sure, but... To me, I would imagine if I had to ta start talking low, I would, I would, I would, need, I would, I would need more air to start talking low and try to talk really loud because I'm it's just not natural for me. So I think it's just a whole retraining process. Mine's not moving while you're talking. Your versus. microphone might not be as, or maybe your case might cover up the hole differently. Oh, yeah. Here we can use this one. Or actually, no. This is this the microphone? Hold that here. Oh, I guess so. Then never mind about the case. I don't know. No, 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 no. <coughs> Wait. The microphone, because you talked down here, right? Yeah, I don't know. Mine's not even... That's well, it might be next to the camera. Hello? 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 I need little cones, like, like old people had for hearing aids in the 1800s. Uh-huh. The ones attached to it. <laughs> hey, we're hitting a little low. I'm, I'm low this week. <gasps> what? Yeah, that's what Claire was just telling her about. Um, I wanted to see with you reading instead of 
um, generating and fact helping right now. Can I go anywhere? Yeah. Order. Okay. I'll... Please stop. Order. Keep a lower breath if you can. It's okay if you don't. You're putting the cart before the horse? That's good. I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. <clears throat> Things have taken a turn for the worse. It's got everything but the kitchen sink. He's been around the block a few times. I'm not playing second fiddle to anyone. There must be something in the water. He's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. You're good. You still haven't gotten the big picture. He would give you the shirt off his back. Is this resonance work or intuition? Resonance. Yeah. Her name is intuition. Don't try to pull a fast one on me, mister. These all sound good, but let's show, let's do another um, problem. When you think, when you have to think about that, yeah. So, try to give me 15 seconds. Or two sentences, I stand up being the same. Um, you're walking and it starts to rain. Um, if I was smart, I would have an umbrella in my backpack, but I'm not smart, and so I'd probably just get wet. So it didn't move. Sorry, I'm very fixated on that. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would try a couple more. <clears throat> you wake up late for work. Um, my stress level increases, and I skip random steps in my morning preparation. So you're hitting it around 160, 165. So try to try to go up a little. Take a good breath before. You win a free gift card at the mall. Um, I probably immediately feel regret that I have to go to a mall, um, and then I'll probably do an hour of market research before leaving the house about how I want to spend the gift card. All right, let's try this. So, why don't you use your imagination? And let's say the air in the room is the air that you breathe to your fullest. So when you inhale the air in the room, you're exhaling the air and asking it to lift the voice. So you're inhaling it and using it to lift the voice. Inhaling it, and I'm using it to lift the voice so you can feel the lifting from the breath lifting that you took in from the environment. So I'd make that connection if you can. And just try one sentence, let's say a sentence with the word rainbow. Okay. Um, <coughs> there's two ends. <coughs> there's two ends to any rainbow. She's that's a lot of hard glottal attack. Have you had a massage today? Mm -hmm. Do you feel tight? Yeah. No, I've, I've always had throat clearing problems. I was just saying I was kicked out of class in fifth grade for throwing my, clearing my throat too much. Do you feel that tight? Yeah. Please. Um, we'll just, we'll just yeah. <laughs> Move on to intonation if that's time for you. Your breath on you just yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Can I go deeper? Mm -hmm. um, right. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna I bet it does. You're tight there. That's how you're supposed to be. Oh. I'm going to go back here, okay? When the cup comes up, and relax the base of your tongue, like kind of the back of your tongue. Yeah. Are you okay? This side's tight. This is the first. 
see how much, yeah, just see how much air we have. Like, really just kind of like, there's no diameters, just like that, right? Um, maybe you want to see the soil. Just try. Uh -huh. January. 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 February. February. Um, February. Do you need water? Uh, always. Take some of that. Take a sip like every 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the bomb. Are you on reflux precautions? I would really like to. No. Um, Have you ever seen anybody for reflux? Yeah. And you don't have reflux? Um, all of your clothes are dirty. Um, I, I use a 15 day heartburn treatment like every two years and it fixes any heartburn I have. Did you start any med new medicine this week too? Or no? Today. Not yet. <laughs> Just see if that helps bring her up a little bit. And to use the breath to let her down how come you have it? Did you feel like she was really tense? That side, uh, the super high on the left was like moderate. Everything else was nice. Yeah, so it came down. Which, you want to use that breath to do all your work rather than your muscles as much as possible. I, I felt like you opened up a little bit since we did that. So let's see that these go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <coughs> continue with giving a problem. You missed the metro. Just do two sentences. I would just, I would have to wait around. I would have to wait around until the next train came. And I would probably just be really stressed out. The movie you want to see is sold out. I would turn around and then I would go home. I'm not interested in most movies. How would that work? Yeah, I can't see. It's she's at 170. Are you? Do you like your when you exhale that you're that when you're starting to talk? If that makes sense, like. So what I'm noticing with your breath is you're taking in a breath, you're speaking, and then you're also releasing half of that breath at the end. Whereas you should breathe in and then talk on the air until you run out. But I notice you, you're doing that release that I just did. Do you get what I'm saying? I do get what you're saying. So I kind of had to force that breath out because I talked with all the air that I had instead of doing that. I don't plan my speech enough. Yeah. I don't know what, how I'm going to end a sentence and I begin it, so I don't really budget my breaths normally. Sure, sure. That makes sense. Um, and I don't think it's necessarily something going forward you're necessarily going to have to always think about. I think just in this training process, it's something you're going to have to kind of retrain, and then the idea is that it would happen on its own, that you're going to start controlling your breath, feeling your breath, what can, what can be done with your breath at this pitch, with this resonance. <laughs> And then using it better. Yeah, I feel like to me that it's more breath to do the higher than the lower. Sure, but sure. So true. then maybe um, take more breaths when you're giving a response. There's no limited number of breaths. So you can breathe as much as you want. You know, it might sound may, might make the sentence sound choppy, but let's have it sound choppy now and but good right now, and then we can work it out. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I think we should, we'll continue have to keep thinking about this, but we want to, I don't want to have time for intonation. I need 10 minutes to work on it. Um, do you want to like stretch or anything? I'm at the point where if I do much more, I'll hurt for two days. Um, okay. So I'm going to have you describe an object in two average length sentences. Okay? It's not too long. <laughs> Always my problem. Always my okay. problem. The first one is rolling pin. Um, I don't know what people do. I don't know what people do with rolling pins. I typically think of them as weapons. <laughs> A hammock. Um, hammocks are great for camping in, up until the point at which it rains. Good. Um, an anchor. 
anchors are supposed to be really heavy, but I've seen Popeye throw them. Good. You're doing exactly what Claire just told you to do. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, let's see. A desk chair. Um, most desk chairs are uncomfortable. I like the kinds with at least three adjustment levers. A laundry basket. A laundry basket. I like to have different colored laundry baskets, so so you can throw your clothes away and, and pre-sort the pile before you do laundry. So I want you to also remember, um, since it's intonation, to try to have the two ups right now. It's a lot. And I've always liked people who speak in a monotone, <laughs> like Daria Morgendorfer. Have you watched the Daria cartoon? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's try... She talks how her name makes it sound like she talks. <laughs> so I want you to give me two sentences with the word about the word mirror, describing the mirror. Okay. But in both sentences, I want two ups. Okay. Um, a, a mirror. A mirror is a reflective um, surface. Um, and since my transition, I've needed access to a lot more mirrors. I never used to carry them. Ottoman. Um, I'm having knee problems right now um, because I don't have access to my ottoman at home because that's where we put the heater in the winter. Paperclip. Um, I just bought a hundred paper clips, though I won't be using them to clip paper. What are you using them for? <laughs> Cleaning out things. <laughs> um, a key. The only key that I use in, nowadays is my house key, and I want to get a new deadbolt that detects that I'm there, so I don't even have to do that. Do you have any comments you want to say before we go on to the next level? What my car's keyless entry? Your what? The car's keyless entry. I was just going to ask you, how do you not have a car key? Um, I would just say, right now, if your oral resonance isn't perfect, that's not what we're concerned about. We're really focused on just getting those two ups okay. for the intonation. Okay. Okay. So I don't want you to stress about all of it right now because that's just too much. Yeah, some of the resonance is starting to come naturally. I mean, not mm -hmm. sweet spot, but like I don't really. Yeah, I have to grab the way to use my milk. Mm -hmm. I think you sound great, and I think even at the beginning, I thought you sounded. When we were doing group shares, I thought you sounded great. Yeah. I had a first time experience of talking to a woman at a party, and I mentioned I'd been my wife for 26 years, and she was like, "Oh, that must have been so controversial back then," and I couldn't like understand what she was talking about. And then like 15 minutes later, it's like she didn't know Actually. I'd ever been a man, and I was like, "What?" And so that was kind of cool, and I give some credit to the voice for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I want you to. Drinking too much. <laughs> Solve this problem and give me one sentence, okay? Um, you have a flat tire. Um, one sentence? Yeah. Um, I put on the spare tire. Okay, we want that intonation though. Oh, oh, so we need the two ups. What's it is it? Hello. I get the spare tire and then I put it on. Then I always avoid sounding like I'm asking a question. Okay. Um, your washing machine breaks. Um, I, I asked my wife to fix the washing machine. <laughs> she, she's the expert. Let's do a little more exaggerated. I heard I heard the ups on wife and washing. Let's do it a little more like a four. Something a little more up. Okay. I asked my wife to look into the washing machine because I'm... You could just stop there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just that shot at that one more time. I asked my I asked my wife to look into the washing machine. She's replaced the heating element before. <laughs> cell phone battery is dead. You don't have a cell phone. Your iPad is dead. <laughs> um, I, I I hook it up to our fast charger. I hook it up to our fast charger. Go to the metro and forgot your card. Um, I purchased a new card with, with my credit card.
You spelled cough. You cracked the screen on your iPad. <clears throat> I have no idea what I would do in that situation. Cry. <laughs> um, do it again a little more exaggerated. Okay. Um, I have no idea what you would do in that situation. The cat gets out. Um, I, I retrieve the cat summoning tin. You would what? Uh, we, have, we have a cat summoning tin. Um, it, the cat knows the noise of tapping that tin because there's fish flakes in it and he comes back every time. The printer breaks. Um, I redirect my print job to our second printer. Okay, I keep two at all times to decrease stress in that situation. Your friend is sick. Um, I avoid going over to his house. <laughs> that was good. Can you do that a little more exaggerated? Um, I avoid going over to his house. There you go. Do you hear the difference? Oh, yeah. But that didn't seem that natural. No, but I think you need to do that a couple more times to then get your natural to a okay. good level. And I almost need to make it feel a little unnatural. Mm -hmm. Like we can practice it as a one, a five, and then a three. Would that help, maybe? Mm -hmm. yeah, I could probably skip the one. I know. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm up so much. A five and a three. <laughs> Even if you had it, you're thinking, I want a four. I think that's what you should shoot for. Just to use four or five for <laughs> Okay, I want to still do problems, but now you can answer. In two, try to answer in two sentences, okay? Um, and think four. The television won't turn on. I make sure that the television's plugged in, and um, I make sure that my remote control has batteries. I didn't hear any ups. Yeah. Really? Oh. So really exaggerate it. Okay. I'm, you can I, do like one sentence at a time, and then take another breath and do it again. I make sure that the remote control has batteries. Uh, I check that the television's plugged in. I check that the television's plugged in. I check that the television's, well, that sounds like amplitude. Yep, yeah, you're right. That was a good catch. Oh, it was? Okay. It was, yeah. So that, now, That's not what you're supposed to do, yeah, but that was good that you caught it. <laughs> oh, good catch. Yeah, yeah like you uh, were aware. Practice, but, um, okay. but let's try it with pitch now. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I check that the remote control has batteries. Yeah. I check that the remote control has batteries. There you go. The first one, you were at a higher pitch, but you were still monotone. So you can be monotone at a high pitch. Like, as a female, I can be very monotone. I can be very monotone. Uh-huh. And I just think, you, do you not like the pitch elevation? Or is it just something you really you have the to... Or the intonation? Well, like the two... Yeah, the two ups. Or do you just really have to think about it? I really have to... Think about it because I felt like I already used more intonation than most males anyway before. That's what I was gonna say. Is like when when she when she's just talking and not focusing on like oh I need to add it. Like I don't I still think it sounds female without the ups. You know. Yeah, you do sound female. That's it's no, just the intonation isn't it's monotone. Yeah. And that's interesting because I always felt like I talked less monotone than everybody else, but that must not be true. So. Try it the pitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think that helped? Breathing. Yeah. Um, Claire focused her to try to talk as long as her breath, almost, and then not so that she knows having more breath and not using it. I think I'm a more spontaneous speaker. I don't plan my sentences, and so I don't budget my breath. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> therapy, therapy is very fake, and you do have to try to budget, but none of us are mm -hmm. good at that. So just kind of be patient with that process. Eventually, you won't have to Start talking about homework with your clients. This week, it's a higher priority. <laughs> Really have to do the homework this week because last week's are, I mean next week's our last session. Yeah, well, and then I felt the difference because this is probably the time I did the least. And I felt the difference, and so that knowledge will force me to be more motivated. Yeah. Okay. Good thing you've changed. Yeah. I need to work on amplitude too. Like I just quieter when I do it. So. Well, females don't necessarily they talk with pitch, not loudness. So you don't have to. Why do you have to work on amplitude? I feel like I'm, there's a certain low point where it gets crackier, and I have to, to 
keep myself ahead of that point in order to get to be quality. Yeah. Like my dad's residence talk about a whole mark. Yeah, work. well, I normally just submit them. Not volume. Okay. Because with resonance, it's going to boost your energy level anyway. But don't think of it as volume because then you'll push your voice to be louder and then you'll talk to the rest okay. of it. It doesn't work. So it's work on resonance when it's lower. And resonance takes more energy in total than doing the male version? Like more resonance breath? takes. It, resonance is balance, a balanced voice that doesn't use muscle to create it. So your, it will sustain you. Resonance is what this whole thing is about.